In Point Capi Parish, growers are busy picking, sorting, and processing pecans so they can make it into many holiday recipes. This year's harvest will consist mainly of native pecans because scab disease hit the improved varieties particularly hard in this area. Improved varieties are preferred because they are larger and more uniform in size. People are starting to pick them up now. They didn't want to buy them at first. It, you know, because of the cracking size, they're, they're so mixed up. But uh, because we don't have very many good quality uh, improved varieties, we've had to shift to the native. Point Capete Parish leads the state in pecan production and is home to the state's only processor. In this rural parish, pecans are an important part of the local economy. It'd probably be somewhere in the $3 million range, you know, I, I imagine in that range because of the price. If the price is better, a few years back it, it got almost $8 million because the price was at $2 a pound and we had a good crop. A concern for growers is that government regulations may no longer allow cattle grazing in pecan orchards. This could create issues for many smaller orchards who depend on both cattle and pecans as sources of income. To maintain that same structure, we're going to have to put a lot more fertilizer out. We're going to have to put a uh, lot more herbicide out to keep the grass down. So I think it's going to cause some hardships. Lester Bergeron's family has been processing pecans for more than 100 years. He says he has taken steps in his processing plant to ensure that his pecans are safe for the consumer. Because we have to had some equipment validated that it's a kill step for uh, salmonella and everything else which we have already done. So that would allow us to buy pecans from an orchard that is uh, cattle are grazing in. This kill step involves heating the pecans to 195 degrees while still in the shell. Bergeron says it does not affect the taste or quality of the pecan, but it causes some kernels in thinner shells to appear darker. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.